Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to divide negative numbers. As you can see, there are three important things that we need to remember for dividing negative numbers. The first thing we need to know is that you're going to divide the numbers together, ignoring the sign. It doesn't matter if the numbers are positive or negative. The first thing you're going to do is divide them as if they were both positive. So you'll ignore the signs. Then you're going to look and see if both numbers have the same sign, the answer will be positive. When you divide it, if you have a positive divided by a positive, your answer will be a positive. Or if you have a negative divided by a negative, your answer will be a positive. This is because the two negatives will cancel and it will make a positive number as your answer. An easy way to remember if your answer is going to be positive is that if the numbers you're dividing have the same sign, the answer will automatically be positive. So if it's two positives, you'll get a positive, or two negatives, you'll also get a positive. If both numbers have different signs, then the answer will be negative. For example, a positive divided by a negative will still give you a negative, and a negative divided by a positive is also going to give you a negative. The order of positive and negative numbers does not matter. You'll still get a negative for the answer when you're dividing if the negative numbers have different signs. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on our first practice problem on dividing negative numbers. Now this first problem gives us negative 8 divided by negative 2. We're going to go ahead and divide these by ignoring the signs first. So we're going to say 8 divided by 2. Well, 8 divided by 2 is 4. To figure out if this 4 is positive or negative, we look at the signs of the numbers in the problem. This 8 is negative and this 2 is negative. Both of these numbers are negative, which means they have the same sign. And if they have the same sign, that means your answer is going to be positive. So negative 8 divided by negative 2 is going to be positive 4 because the two negatives cancel and it leaves you with a positive number as your answer. Moving on to the second practice problem, this problem gives us 15 divided by negative 3. Now we know the first step is to divide the numbers as if they're both positive by ignoring the signs. So we're going to say 15 divided by 3 is positive 5. And in order to figure out if this 5 is going to stay positive or turn to negative, you look at the signs of the two numbers in your problem. This 15 is positive 15 and this 3 is negative 3. This means they have different signs. And because the signs are different, your answer is going to automatically be negative. So this 5 is going to change to a negative 5. Positive 15 divided by negative 3 is going to be negative 5 because they have different signs. And finally, our last practice problem on dividing negative numbers gives us negative 24 divided by negative 6. We're going to divide these as if they are positive numbers. So we're just going to say 24 divided by 6. Well, 24 divided by 6 is 4. And then to figure out if this 4 is going to be positive or negative, we, we look at the signs of the two numbers in our problem. This 24 is negative, and this 6 is negative. That means they have the same sign. And because they have the same sign, your answer is going to automatically be positive. Now, the reason this is positive is because the two negatives cancel, and it makes a positive number in your answer. So negative 24 divided by negative 6 is positive 4. And if you want to do some more practice on dividing negative numbers, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video to get taken to our free worksheet download or a practice quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!